It's a great start to the year. We are back in Las Vegas. Time for CES. You can already see a lot of drones, robotics, VR equipment, AR equipment. All that is there. But again, you also have a lot of automotive brands participating in the CES. We have every year seen increasing participation from these brands. That doesn't change. What also doesn't change is, is that we are going to continue talking about autonomously driven vehicles, e-mobility. But what is definitely changing is all these technologies are now actually closer to production and actually closer to hitting the road. Check it out. Automotive solutions provider ZF is partnering with electric vehicle manufacturer E.Go and mobility solutions provider and integrator TransDev to put into production a fully autonomous electric vehicle platform called the Ego Mover. Catering to people carrying and cargo hauling applications, the Ego vehicles will be ready by 2020 to operate in geofenced real-world locations like industrial premises, universities, gated communities, etc. ZF aims to reach a five-digit figure for these movers by 2021 and projects a significant growth in the demand for such robo-taxis by as early as 2022. Powering its autonomous driving capability is ZF's RoboThink supercomputer, which is the most powerful and intelligent ECU for self-driving cars. It uses processing power from NVIDIA and a slew of cameras, radar and LiDAR from ZF and is ready to enter production this year for other car makers to adopt. On the topic of urban mobility, shared mobility and driverless vehicles and of course ride hailing capabilities, what you see behind me is a concept that Mercedes-Benz thinks is the idea or the way the future of shared mobility will look like. It's called the urbanetic concept. I agree it's not a very pretty looking car especially with that front end and the kind of tail it's got. But that could well be the kind of egg-shaped vehicles that we could sit in because this is a level 5 autonomous vehicle. No driving controls in there. What you instead get is a panoramic sofa set and also a panoramic roof. Also in there is a panoramic display uh, for in-car entertainment. And because this is Vegas, right now there is a bit of a roulette theme going on in there. But it's a very luxurious way of traveling is what Mercedes-Benz believes. This will be the future of shared mobility. Mercedes-Benz not only displayed the urbanetic at the CES, but also offered fully autonomous drives in certain geofence locations of Las Vegas. Mercedes-Benz also chose the CES to launch its second-generation CLA. But why CES and not a conventional auto show? Well, simply because last year at the CES, Mercedes-Benz debuted its MBUX system and that MBUX is the very big talking point for the new CLA as well. That is what you get in here uh, in the MBUX system. You get all the uh, kind of uh, features that we recently uh, drove in the new GLE as well. Uh, so you get the interior assistant where it does uh, have a few gesture controls that you can use to control various functionality in the car. You also have the various user profiles that you can set. So you can simply set your height and it will customize a lot of uh, layouts and uh, various functions around the car to suit your height. It also has the energizing comfort control which comes in from the S-Class but it takes it a step further uh, using your wearable uh, stuff like the Apple Watch or something. When it's paired to the phone, it transmits all your health data to the phone and then the phone is paired uh, to the MBUX so all that data goes to the MBUX as well. So the car in a way knows your health data and then it can uh, also customize uh, the various functions in the car like air conditioning, the lighting, uh, the, the fragrancing if uh, that function is uh, available. All these things are then customized to either lift up your mood or to calm you down if you're too anxious, uh, which I think is a very good idea. And because these are now times of connected systems, your user profile can actually also be taken forward to the next Mercedes-Benz car. I don't know if that functionality is already available, but that is something that Mercedes-Benz is also working towards, which I think is a very big deal. Now, why am I sitting here in this pod? That's purely because the cars are right out there and there's a lot of crowd gathering around it because the design of the car, the design of the CLA has always been one big talking point as well. It doesn't change with the new CLA. It only gets better. Take a closer look. The new CLA retains the beautiful four-door coupe form and the Coke bottle shoulder line, but is now a lot more sleeker and aerodynamic and that gives it a sportier stance. The cabin looks great too and we are digging those air vents. The rear seat is also a bit more spacious than before. I think I'm going to go ahead and say this. This is easily the most beautiful compact entry-level car that you have in the market right now. It's certainly coming to India and it's certainly something that we should all look forward to. 
and the competition certainly needs to be worried. This is one hell of a lookup. While the CLA was the biggest highlight of the CES, the biggest vehicle was the Bell Nexus. Drones are doing pretty much everything from taking selfies and shooting bird eye view vistas to showering flowers and delivering packages. And if Bell could have their way, drones could transport humans too. Classified as a vertical takeoff and landing, a VTOL aircraft, this five-seater hexacopter is more agile, compact, and a relatively safer alternative to a conventional helicopter. We will take off in helicopter mode, and then once we get up, we'll go into forward flight. All six ducks will convert to a plane mode. It, it will also have the option of being piloted, which we see as our prospect to getting certification in the mid-2020s. To tackle increasing congestion and long wait times as cities grow denser, Uber wants to take to the air and have flying taxi solutions up and running by 2023. The Bell Nexus could be one such solution. Going forward, even these mapping companies are going to play a very important role in how the autonomous vehicles shape up. It's not going to be only about the routes anymore or even about the road signs. As cars and cities both get smarter, things are going to be very different. These mapping softwares will have to look for empty parking spots. They'll have to look for breakdowns. They'll have to look for autonomously driven vehicles. They'll have to look for ride hailing services all in one. All of that is going to be a very important thing as these cities get smarter, as these cars get smarter. So the mapping software, the mapping companies will play a very important role and at the same time even the car makers are working very hard towards creating these HD maps, the high definition maps, very detailed maps and all of it has to be updated in real time which is a big challenge and that is something that the industry is shaping towards. Chinese startup Byton was back at the CES, this time with a new Tesla Model S and Audi e-tron GT rivaling K-Byte sedan concept which is slated for a 2021 launch and shares its underpinnings with the upcoming M-Byte electric SUV, which too was present at the CES in a more production-ready avatar. Expected to be powered by 71 kilowatt hour and 95 kilowatt hour choices and a single motor rear wheel drive or a dual motor all wheel drive option when it enters production in 2020. The big talking point for the production-ready model, apart from its sharp design, is the 48-inch pillar-to-pillar infotainment, featuring a customized version of Amazon's Alexa Auto. With smartphone integration like Apple CarPlay or Google Auto becoming increasingly common even in entry-level models, is the digital assistants that are also getting a lot of popularity, something like Siri or Google Assistant. In that space, Amazon's Alexa Auto is making a lot of headway. Check it out. With Apple CarPlay and Android Auto difficult to integrate in older cars or cars with integrated audio units, Alexa Auto is making the most of this opportunity thanks to its discrete integration that doesn't necessarily need a display. At the CES, Amazon showed as many as 10 devices that benefit from this architecture, ranging from conventional in-dash audio units to the more interesting plug-and-play devices. Amazon also demonstrated how you could order usual groceries, shop for items in your Amazon basket, ask Alexa to lock the doors or turn off the lights in your house, or even control compatible devices in the kitchen, like brewing a hot cup of coffee in time for your arrival. All this while on the move and without having to take your eyes off the road. Apple and Google too have similar services, but Alexa just seems to be at the forefront. Digital assistants are indeed becoming a big deal for cars and Mercedes-Benz even went to the extent of having its EQC recite wedding vows for a couple wanting to get married in Vegas. What are some of your great features? I can assist you with a wide range of services. For example, I can perform a wedding ceremony right here in the car. Mercedes, is this real? Yes, it is. Please join hands. Wow. I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss. Audi is aiming at upping the game for in-car entertainment with its new immersive entertainment concept which might soon become a reality. The concept brings 4D entertainment to car cabins, adding physical feedback to what you're watching on the screen. Nissan's take on the future driver assistance systems were a hit with the public, perhaps because it had a human face to it, quite literally. 
the invisible to visible concept merged vehicle to vehicle communications with virtual and augmented reality to present helpful driver information such as road conditions and parking availability to the driver both during manual control and autonomous driving and the best part was that these instructions could also be given to the driver via a virtual avatar presented through the headset with a face to the assistant the concept might just help make better drivers out of all of us Using a scale model of its new generation robotics and automotive technologies, Hyundai showcased the Elevate four-legged automobile, a futuristic concept of first response emergency vehicles that can drive, walk or climb using robotics. The Elevate is based on Hyundai's upcoming electric global modular platform or eGMP that will underpin its future electric cars ranging from hatchbacks to SUVs. Finally, how can CS be complete without some souped up vehicles from aftermarket brands like this Barracuda right here done up by Kenwood or this Challenger by Orion or how about this Chevy Lowrider by Diamond Audio or maybe a ground hugging Tesla Model 3 by Toyo Tires fancy a Wander Hall instead or how about some tricked out buggies CS is crazy from tricked out rides to science fiction it's all right here 5G was also one of the biggest talking points this year and it's more than just a faster internet for mobile devices in fact it is the technology that will power the internet of things the communication muscle required for autonomously driven cars and the smart cities that they will dwell in and all of it is coming to us sooner than expected